Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and joined once again by the wrestling favourite, Pterodactyl Tom. Wah! <laughs> uh, today we are going to be running through our predictions for NXT TakeOver New York. Uh, the match card looks pretty decent. It does. Uh, a couple of the matches could make for absolutely fucking incredible matches. What are you thinking going in here? Well, it's NXT as well. You know, it's got to be fucking brilliant. Exactly. Uh, I think Cultaholic proved it. They did a list of the best takeovers and they couldn't decide where to put it last because they've not had a bad takeover yet. Yeah, no. Um, but I, let's get into our predictions. Now, the first match that we'll talk about uh, is for the NXT UK Championship. This is Petey Pete Dunn. I guess Big Bad Volta. Volta. Right, uh, who have you got in this one and why? Uh, I've got Pete Dunn. Mm. They, if they have what, uh, Volta win, then... It's a bit uh, too soon. Uh, 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 as, I mean, yes, he's been running throughout the fucking roster so far. Mm. But, and he is incredible. But Pete Dunn is just, like, once in a generation superstar. Exactly. Uh, for me, I'm going to be taking Pete Dunn in this as well. Uh, it's one of the things I don't... <laughs> I don't think I ever want to see him dropping the title. No, like, I, I know it's stupid to say, like, uh, of course he's got to fucking drop it at some point, but I don't want him to, especially not right now. You could have an argument from dropping the title to uh, Trent Seven as well, because then mm. then all three members of British Strong Style have held the UK yeah. Championship. That's true, but uh, at the minute, the only person I want holding this championship is Pete Dunne. Uh, so next up we're going to talk about the NXT Tag Team Championships, and it is the War Raiders against... The one and only Ricochet and Alistair Black. Or as it was called a couple of weeks ago on Raw, uh, the sensational Ricochet. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck, fuck off, goal. Fuck off, my goal. <laughs> um, so have you got in, the, in this? I'm going to be taking the War Raiders in this one. I know it looks so likely that Ricochet and uh, Alistair Black will walk away with the championships. But no, I want to see the War Raiders hold on to these championships, especially if it... If we are actually moving with Alistair Black and Ricochet gone up to the main roster, uh, it just makes sense. Uh, but I think it comes down to, again, it being too early. Mm. It's too early for the War Raiders to drop these championships. Uh, I've got War Raiders as well. Mm. It makes sense. Uh, it does. The next match that we'll talk about is the Velveteen Dream versus... Matt Riddle for the North American Championship. Who have you got in this one and why? I fucking love Matt Riddle. Like, but... This championship is getting thrown around willy-nilly right now, and I want to see a lengthy reign, so... Who better to have a lengthy reign than Velvety Dream? Hmm, the Dream is fucking incredible. One of the most charismatic superstars of all time on NXT. Hmm. Uh, for me, I'm going to take Matt Riddle in this. Uh, uh, the reason behind that is I feel like Velveteen Dream is there now. He's ready for that call up. So I feel like on Monday Night Raw we'll see him. We won't see it happen at WrestleMania, but we'll see his call up happen on Monday Night Raw. Uh, and a big reason behind this is we were meant to see Johnny Gargano and uh, uh, Tommaso Ciampa being called up. Uh, we were meant to see that, but unfortunately we didn't because Tommaso Ciampa has aggravated an injury. So maybe they'll look to other superstars to call up and I feel like the perfect one there is the Velveteen Dream. He's ready for it. He's yeah. fucking brilliant. So next up we're going to talk about the NXT Women's Championship match. And it is Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair versus Kairi Sane versus Io Shirai in a Battle 4 way match. Mm -hmm. So who have you got in this then? Uh, well for me this, this match could be incredible if done right, if done right. Like, it's NXT, they, they usually do the matches right, but if done wrong, this could be a shit show. Right. Uh, but, I, I, I want it, I really, really, really want to take Io Shirai in this. Uh, and do you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Io Shirai in this, and uh, I'm gonna take Jenna Baszler to call up. I'm, I'm saying a we're getting a double call up on Monday Night Raw. 
we will see Shayna Baszler come up because, well, we've got the rumours that Ronda Rousey's leaving after WrestleMania. Uh. <laughs> so somebody is going to have to take that place and who better than fucking Shayna Baszler? Honestly, who better? I've always been wrong with the way she happens and kind of get Ronda Rousey's place on the card as uh. the big top superstar and that is just fucking ridiculous. But no, I'm saying Shayna Baszler for that. So Io Shirai to win. I'm saying I'm saying Shayna Baszler's going to return. You're saying Shayna Baszler to return? This storyline that she's gone for the whole entire locker room right now is fucking brilliant. It, and keep that angle going for at least a little, little bit longer mm. and then call her up at like SummerSlam or something. And truth is, they could go the way of Asuka if they're having her called up after WrestleMania. They could have her just hand over the title like Asuka did. Yeah. So finally we move on to the main event. And this match I am definitely looking forward to. Yes. It is for the NXT Championship. Two out of three falls match. Two out of three falls match for Goldie. For Goldie. And it is Johnny Gargano or Johnny Takeover versus Adam Cole, baby! baby! Who have you got in this one and why? Like I'm even asking this, we already know who you've got. Adam Cole, baby! Of course, obviously. Uh, there was nobody else you were going to take. Yeah, it's Adam fucking Cole, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, I, I've loved him since he debuted and I've loved him ever since. So apart from the fact that he's your favourite on NXT, uh, have you got any other reason behind why you're picking Adam Cole? Scratch that favourite in the whole company. <laughs> Fair enough, but right. go on. Um, I just think it's Adam Cole's time, you know, he debuted in the Barclays Centre and they've gone back to the Barclays Centre for this NXT title match and just be, it'd just be the icing on the cake. Mm. And I still think Johnny Gargano's going to get his call up. Mm. Uh, one thing to bear in mind in this, whoever wins this becomes NXT's first ever Triple Crown Champion. Yeah. So there's a big thing to look forward to in this. No matter who wins it, we've got the first ever Triple Crown Champion. It's going to be a historic moment. Exactly. But for me, I'm taking Johnny Gargano. After all the pushing, after all the pushing towards this title, it's finally, finally fucking time for him to hold it, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see Adam Cole holding this championship. But... Johnny Gargano fucking earned it. Like, after all the pushing he's done, after all the fucking losses that he's been forced to take when it comes to this championship, it's just finally time. Uh, so, I 1 million percent I'm taking Johnny Gargano in this. I've, I've got this, uh, you know, I have a sort of three balls. Mm. I've got. Uh, Johnny Gargano getting the disqualification point because the undisputed they're all coming and swipe right. Johnny. And then uh, Adam Cotton will pick up uh, a, a point then and then it'll be facing off for the final point. Fair enough. Uh, it's a good way to look at it. Uh, but there you go. We're, look, we're looking at a great night of wrestling. Yep. Uh, NXT never fucking disappoints when it comes to TakeOver. And I'm saying it's going to be better than WrestleMania. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see because for me Wrestlemania it's going to have a lot of feel good moments in my opinion so I feel like the feel good moments will make it that amazing of a show uh, but on to the forfeits uh, as you might have seen in the look great video I got this t-shirt a Ronda Rousey t-shirt uh, the loser for NXT TakeOver we did have uh, we did have a thumbtacks stamping on thumbtacks punishment, but YouTube seemed to be cracking down a lot on blood stuff. Yeah. So it looks like we can't <laughs> have any with blood in, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, I'm fucking mental if I'm saying unfortunately we can't have any blood. No. Uh, oh, fuck it. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, so the forfeit will actually be at the next uh, predictions video, which I believe is Money in the Bank. Uh, the loser from this will have to wear this throughout the fall no, predictions. Fuck off. <laughs> Neither of you want to wear it. It's Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey can 
fuck right off. Uh, right, I'm not being any bad. Let, let's push aside the lot about the fucking fake wrestling's fake and all that lot. She can't cut a promo, which means she's a bad wrestler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you need everything to be a decent wrestler. You need to be good in the ring. Don't get me wrong, she's good in the ring. Like ninety percent of wrestling, though, is good mic work. Exactly, and Ronda's shit on the mic. She can't cut a promo, which, in my opinion, makes her a bad wrestler. You need to be able to work all angles, and she just can't. Shayna Baszler is a better fit. She's just even not good in, in, the, in the ring, to be honest with you. But the truth is, we're probably going to be rambling a lot about Ronda Rousey for tomorrow. Oh, for tomorrow. Aye, for our WrestleMania predictions. But aye, we hope you enjoyed this video. Wah! There we go. Uh, and if you did like this video, don't forget to buttfuck that like button. Boys.